morning I'm just making magnesium water today mag water and I just thought I'd show you guys how to make it for anybody who is interested so all you're gonna need is just some carbonated water so just sparkling spring water I just buy it from the local supermarket and some of this magnesium oxide powder now you can make it um, with milk of magnesia which is basically mag oxide with water added to make mag hydroxide but it's quite difficult at least in Australia to buy a really pure milk of magnesia that doesn't have basically bleach added um, so I just this is the most easy and accessible for me um, some people say that it doesn't the powder doesn't quite mix as well as the liquid um, milk of magnesia but it seems to do the job well enough. So this is just a 1.25 litre uh, sparkling carbonated spring water. So first thing is that you want to make sure that your sparkling water is chilled because that helps the reaction take place. Um, what we're doing is mixing so magnesium oxide in with the carbonated water and it then becomes magnesium bicarbonate so then we have really bioavailable form of magnesium because it's got the bicarb complex with it which uh, bicarb is a cofactor to magnesium so it just really helps that magnesium uh, get to the cell. So first we just open up the bottle just really gently just to sort of minimize any loss of carbonation. And then what I'm going to do is just pour out a cup of it just when the reaction takes place, it sort of causes a bit of expansion, so we just give it a little bit of room. And I used to uh, grab my magnesium oxide powder and mix it into a little bit of chilled water um, and then add that liquid to the bottle, but I just got a bit lazy and I found that that ended up being a bit messy and I lost a lot. So now, basically, all I do is just what you want is a tea, yeah, one and a quarter teaspoon. So I just do a bit of a heaped teaspoon and use funnel. Get that in there. You can hear the reaction starting to take place. So we pop the cap on quickly and then just shake. So it's just yeah, it's um, one and a quarter teaspoons of the mac oxide powder into. A liter of water I use. Uh, well, you get these as the 1.25 liters. And I'm just going to take that for a while. See that's gone all cloudy. And I'm just going to pop the um, remaining cup back in. Actually, beautifully, just beautifully. Oh yeah, <laughs> so I'm just going to chill that for maybe half an hour and then take it out, give it another shake again, you'll see some of the sediment will have gone to the bottom, so give it another shake for a while, um, and then pop back in the fridge and after that it should be ready to consume. Um, and with that you've got then the, um, this is actually the concentrated solution. And so really you only want maybe a couple of tablespoons just in a splash of water um, but that's taken away from meals because when you take it with a meal it tends to dilute the stomach acid whereas if you're taking it away from a meal it's actually giving your body what it needs to produce better stomach acid so 
yeah, always try to take it away from meals. Cool. See you later, guys.